So I'm gonna show you guys a quick video on how to install one of these sill plates. And this will really work for any Chevy, GMC, really any brand vehicle, because they're all probably about the same thing. It is worth noting that this part number is for a Chevy Trax, but it appears to be the exact same thing that's sold for the Chevy Spark, probably the same as the Sonic or Aveo or Cruze or similar. Either way, it's pretty much a universal part. So I already installed this one. Get you guys over to the other side. So what I'm gonna do is I've already measured it on the other side, but I installed it two inches forward of this. There's no real right way to do it, but if you want it any sort of uniform, that's the way I did it. It's really not a big deal. And I'm just gonna eyeball it and make sure that it's about the same. So that's about two inches right there, four to two. So we can install it just like that. Of course, it's 110 degrees out today. But first thing, pull the label off. And I actually accidentally did it on the other one, but you want to get that little tab right there for the top part and move it up so then you don't have to redo it. And I'm just going to eyeball it with the two inch mark that I already made. And there you go. Simple as that. So all you need is to just clean up that surface, which I've already done. And to do that, I just used a damp rag with water and just wiped it off really good. Then I dried it off with a dry rag. It's that simple. But there's the part number. And that's the end result. These are really cheap, especially if you find them online for the tracks. I found some websites that sold them for $12 a piece, so they're really not expensive. If you buy them off of GM's website directly, you'll pay $75 plus shipping, however you decided to do that for the pair. So I definitely recommend buying these online. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more.